Ah, <laughs> mm. uh, that was a lovely sleep. Oh. What, what, what time is it? I swear, I closed my eyes for a couple of minutes and already it's 20 to 10. Morning. July. Two years on the farm, that's flowing. 29 degrees, it's a beautiful day. With a high of 34 and a low of 24. Well, perfect day to harvest some oats. Just look at that. I can already taste the cereals. We are so close to starting our own cereal production. So we're back here then in the oat field and I'm gonna call in my worker again. I've got the course set for him. I programmed it this time. I've changed it from smooth corners to sharp and we're gonna see if this is gonna work a little bit better. Apparently there's a way you can set them on the baler. I just, in my own head, I can't see how can, you know, you've got the little straw swath. How? How can they follow that? So I might have to have a go at that one and see first if it works. Just over in the distance, if you look at the top left of your screen, you can just see I've got another worker over there cutting the grass for me because that's ready as well, would you believe it? So worker's cutting the grass. He's still moving anyway, so I'm hoping he's doing okay. We're going to set this guy off, so we'll put this on here. We'll just go and trigger it to first waypoint. If they get stuck, you have to then go for the nearest waypoint, so they carry on. A little cycle. We said this before here. You've got all this little grid line pattern. And if he breaks down somewhere like further in the grid, you don't want to set it back to the first waypoint because he'll come right back to the beginning and have to go over all the stuff he's already done. So we just set it to go for the nearest one. But at the minute, we need to start from the start. Because he's not gone wrong yet. We've uh, put straw swath on because we want to get some bales off this. And then we're going to go and just basically say, go, mate, go. And um, yeah. We'll come back in a little bit and we'll see how he gets on. So far, so good. So I wasn't feeling too confident on the first corner, but you know what? The worker's actually done well. So I'm going to show you this one on camera. So what he does is putting it on sharp means he stabs the corner first. He'll go straight for it. As you can see, no turning. Back up a little bit. He'll stab a little bit on the next row. Then he'll do his turn. Takes the straw swath a bit of a nightmare, but... um. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, to me, that seems the better way. He's getting every little bit. Look. So obviously, the straw swaths a little bit over the place. But he, he's covered all the area. Now, he can go make his turn and run down the edge. Still causing mayhem on the roads, even though he's nowhere near the roads. I have no idea what's going on there. Look at that. Sharp turns is the way for harvesting, not smooth. You see? We've learned something new. But the worker's definitely doing a good job on the oats. Like I said, the straw's a little bit questionable, but I suppose that is course play, isn't it, really? It's going to be going all around, all over the place. Back and forth on the corners, you know, that's why it looks a bit messy, but... Yeah, apart from that, it's looking pretty good. So he's got a full grain tank, so we're just going to come through here now. We're just going to uh, empty. We get it lined up. And what I might do, actually, I'm going to take this straight over, I think, to the cereals. Because all we're missing is some raisins. So we take this over to the cereals. We can get this in, get it processed, and get the cereals actually starting. Because literally, every minute that's passing, it's time wasted where we could be making some cereals, earning some extra money. So let him fill this up. I'll see you at the cereals. Well, that's the first little bit of grain was got into our own cereal factory. We just need some raisins, then we can start the production. So we're just going in for the second unload then. And i tell you what, one thing I do like about Corsplay, the worker has been helpful. He's now seen that where he was, he was going down straight ahead, as you can see where he's finished. He's backed over and give me room to get in without going in the crops because he's realized he's got a full grain tank. That's pretty cool. A normal worker would just sit there and go, eh, your problem. <laughs> this guy's gone... You know what? I'm going to back over here a little bit. Give me a bit of room so he can get the pipe out. That is so cool. We'll back up out his way now and hopefully he'll get back on track or he'll get lost. Oh no. Hey, oh, look. See, it looks like he's getting back on track. I was worried thinking, why is he sat over here? Then I kind of thought, 
You know what? That's quite quite small. Look at that. Oh, I do love cosplay. It really helps out. And you can see, okay, the headlands a little bit sketchy on the old uh, straw swaths, but up and down. That's not bad going. Right, we'll let him finish off. We'll see what total oats we've got. We'll take it all over to the uh, cereal factory. So while the work is just sorting that out for me, I'm just helping this worker over here sort out. So I'm just doing the bailing because I haven't kind of worked out quite yet how we do course play and bailing. So we're just getting a few. It's yielded quite well, actually, this grass. I don't know if it's because it's the time of year. And I mean, it says 32 degrees, which is a scorcher, especially here for the UK. We're getting some nice amount of bales off this then. We're whizzing around because this is a quick baler, so we can go flat out and it, it still works. Decided to do the sort of cattle pen as well. Some good grass in here. It is if I go and pick it all up. I mean, I know this has got a bit of a wider coverage on it, but it's even still, that was a bit, a bit much that was. So we're going to see, we just get a few bales from here, but we're going to have to leave these in the field because, because the silage, obviously they need to ferment first before we can put them in our bale storage. Just throw them in the bale storage as they are. And it is just literally going to turn into grass and all this effort and wrapping and everything is just going to unwrap them turn it to grass it's going to be a completely waste so i just need to make sure that we do leave them in the uh, in the field long enough to ferment before we pick them up we could store them somewhere else but i don't see there's any harm in leaving them in the field it's what you'd probably do in real life i mean if you're a farmer let me know is that what you would do in real life leave them in the field until it's ready or would you actually collect them and go store them somewhere else I suppose, really, on a, on a real farm, you don't have a, an auto-load bale storage, so you would probably go and collect them and then store them in a shed and then wait for them to ferment, but I suppose that's what you would do in real life. Maybe you do leave them on, a, on the farm for a little bit. If so, let me know. And we'll go see when this is done, how the work is getting on. So while I'm waiting for the worker just to finish off in the oat field, I'm going to take this, and you can't quite see, but just behind... I have got my trusty little trailer on. I'm going to go over to the shop. Let's see if I can buy some raisins. Well, raisins are not the cheapest thing in the world. So here we've got a pallet. Thousand liters is two grand. I've only got just over seven grand in my bank account. The only problem is though, is if we go for, well, we'd need to do the whole grapes. Get a grapevine and uh, get the grape processing unit and all that kind of stuff. And so that's mighty expensive. So I think for now, hmm. That's 2,000 litres for four grand. Oh, what? All right, well, let's just fingers crossed that these... Um... Oh, dear. Let's just fingers crossed that, you know, these last enough for us to get some cereal. Try and make some money back. All right, let's stop this over here. Let's, um... let's get these loaded, get them into the cereal factory and try and make some money back. I've got to say, she travelled pretty well, but then that is loaded correctly you know two pallets to weight straight over the axles instead of putting it all on the front or all on the back so we'll spin this around we'll go drop this in and then really that is everything we've got for the cereals we can actually finally start the production and hope what we have in here now will give us at least a couple of pallets should make our oh, I'm hoping we'll make some money back please <laughs> As you can see, it's not looking great, is it? Honey, yes. That was just going through the roof, that was. Raisins, oats, corn. Mm, not great, but then honey's one, raisins are one. So that's what I'm hoping is 2,000 litres should, I'm hoping, should last a nice amount of time. When we get a bit more money, yeah, we can go buy some more. It only holds 30,000 anyway. But that's, that's, a, that's a lot of money. So let's just see the process is started. We've got to remember as well, we've got a canola field to do. And we've got some canola oil that we'll be able to put in. So hopefully money is going to start flowing in soon. So I've emptied the harvester then of all the oats. It's in the trailer over the oats field. We're going to take that across to the cereal factory. But while the harvester isn't doing much, I've just asked the lad if he'd stay on a little bit and sort me out this canola field. So we've programmed him. He's ready. We'll start him off here. And as far as I'm aware, we can get straw from canola. We're going to find out in just a second. Yeah, we can. So we'll let him crack on and do this for me. I'm going to take the oats across and then I need to do some baling. 7,765 litres of oats. 
as well as obviously what went in. So around, around about 10,000 litres. I didn't think that was too bad at all, huh? So we'll just go and tip this in here. Oh, to go in. Canola's going to go straight in the building right in front of us there. Or oh, make some lovely canola oil. I think we've got a pallet of sunflower oil in there. Yeah, we've got just over one pallet's worth. 1,248 litres. Uh, the container's the best place to sell this. Container's really the place it seems like to sell most things. In March, though, 7,997. Hmm. Not bad. All right, well, we're going to wait till uh, March then. We've got a little bit of a wait. But hopefully by that point, then, we'll have some canola oil as well. We'll be able to sell it all at the same time for some big money. So again, the straw's going okay at the minute. We've got a few bales. We have also got one rogue silage bale. That's because there was about 80% of uh, grass left in the baler. And it didn't have enough to convert it. So it's basically gone. Hey, you know what? We'll just, we'll just use a bit of straw and we'll make it silage. Which is just sat over there on the right. Uh, too bad. We need everything, really. So at the minute... I don't think we've actually got any silage bales in the bale storage. It all seems to be some hay and some straw. I really do think we need to try and get another field for silage because silage is quite good if you go put it into the BGA. Now, see, we don't own the BGA. It's just a normal in-game BGA, so it will make us some money. But I think that's, that's really what we need to do. I mean, just 3,153 at the minute. I'm not sure what's the best time for cereals. Gonna have a quick look. So the best time for cereals is March. It seems to be quite a few things get March. So sunflower oil. I don't know canola is, but cereals is going to be March as well. So hopefully by that time we have managed to accumulate a few. I'm not sure exactly how many we're going to get before things start running out, but hopefully we will get a nice amount anyway. Does it give us a bit of a boost anyway? So the maximum price we can expect is 7,895 per pallet. Yeah, that's not bad. Just looking on here, it seems like uh, canola oil is going to be November, just shy of 6,000. Well, hopefully we'll be able to get some pallets sorted, get them in for sale before the end of the year. I'm hoping we need the money. So I think the wheat and the barley should keep the chickens fed for a little while now. Canola here, as you can see, there's not much left. That's going to go into the factory. And then we need to think about what we're going to put back in the fields. So just looking at the map here, I maybe I should have jumped on that field, number 28. I think I might have mentioned before that I really wanted that one. And it got canola in, but sadly, it's already been harvested. It's done now. So I'm just looking at other fields. Now, I know we've not got the money. I know I would have to go borrow it from the bank. But I really need to start expanding and getting some more fields. Because the little fields we've got, it's just not going to turn over enough crops really benefit us if i'm honest so at the minute we haul let's start the, the areas that we've got here and obviously the free field right up there which comes with everything around the surrounding here um i'm thinking 46 i do like 46 it, it would sort of complete things wouldn't it if we had 46 76 000. but it's got nothing in obviously you want to try and benefit so these here have got something in I really want that. Soya beans are meant to be good for money. And obviously that's soya beans as well. So if we're going to have a just quick look on here, if we go back to these ones here, you'll see these are all growing. So that's been harvested, which was, what was that one? That was wheat. So that's been harvested, but we've got two soya beans and a cornfield. What are still, like, still good to go. Hmm. Now, they're not the cheapest thing in the world. So, like I said, it's 106, 102, 153. 153. My word. I just think it will, will be quite nice, won't it? Not really. Oh, I think it really would be. So this is 5,121 litres of canola going into our oil mill. To make some lovely canola oil. Here you go. Look at that. Pretty quick, that was. So, we'll go and start that factory going. Canola oil activated so a couple of bales of straw off this field so nothing much uh, and i might have done something so i just said to you about the map and looking at the fields and what was good what's not good and what i think i should have bought well i, I might have got a bit carried away and gone and got all of them yeah it, it, it has cost a little bit but then 
this is what you do in business. You have to go speak to the bank manager, get some money, invest it in the farm to get it off the ground, and then you start paying it back. I mean, I know some of you might think, well, it's not really cheating though, is it? Because I've got to pay it back. But I know taking out like, a big loan, getting a load of fields, and trying to get off the ground. You could try and do it without doing this, without taking out a loan. And I'm more than happy to give it a go. But then we are going to go well past 30 episodes to try and do that. Because we're going to have to keep rinsing and repeating everything. I'm just thinking you guys will probably get bored of that. I'm trying to like mix it up a little bit. Give us some more fields, some more options, some more things to do. But feel free. Leave it in the comments. Let me know what you think. Should I not do this with a loan? Or is this the right way to do it? So just collected the bales then from the oat field and the couple on the canola field. And this is what we ended up with. Not bad. Nice amount that is. Obviously we've got to work. We've just finished off the wheat field. I wasn't going to do the wheat field until next month. But I'm always just a bit concerned. See nothing here. I'm always a bit concerned of leaving the crops overnight. And if it withers, which it shouldn't do, it's, it's okay. Still good to harvest in August. We're only in July now, but I'm just, I'm always a bit wary about that. So let's just go double tap this to unload it. And it should all go in apart from that one, which is decided to float. Uh, come on, can we knock it? Yep, yeah, now will it go in? There we go. So this field here right in front of us, this is another one of my purchases. And as you can see, unfortunately, the canola has been taken out of it, but it has been limed. So I want to try and go over this one properly. I want to make this into a grass field. But I want to, since it's been harvested, mulch it. Now, you only get 2% on mulching. But then we will get, when it's done properly, we will get a full 100% yield on it. Why not? I did also go and get another one of these because I kind of realized, well, I'm looking, thinking, I'm sure there's something I'm missing. What am I missing from here? But lime, fertilizer, seeds. What was I missing? Oh, yeah. Herbicide for the weeds. So I needed to put a new rack in. This rack is just sort of set to be all herbicide. And that will cost an absolute fortune. These did rinse my bank account. But for now, a couple will do because as we've worked out in previous episodes, herbicide goes a long way. Second unload then on the wheat field. Not a bad amount, actually. Let's go forward a little bit more. It's not far enough there. Not actually doing bad. This is yielded pretty well. But then we did look after all the fields. We did treat them properly. And I am tempted when I do the mulching. This is why I wanted to get this one done. Go through and like mulch all the fields. If you can get a 100% yield bonus off them, why not? Now, I know these would just let you down a little bit. But let's just go. Let's just aim for the 100. So we'll get the worker to finish this off. We'll get the straw. And then we are good to go. I'm not sure if I said or not, but I've been cutting the grass around the yard. And what I've been doing is I've been putting it in here and letting it sort of ferment into silage. And I've just had a notification pop up at the top of the screen to say bunker silo fermented. So this is ready to go now. I'm not going to open the cover just yet because we haven't got time to sort this out. But this could be quite good. This is a little bit of money. It's about 11,000 liters. Now, it's not much. Granted, when you see the size of this, this pit here, we could fill it full. But just cutting the grass around the yard literally around the house why not Make, makes sense doesn't it i didn't really want to use grass i could have put it straight into the bale storage but i thought I'll put it in here and just cover it over Eleven thousand liters of silage we can get our front loader scoop it up put it into the trailer and take it over to the bga and sell it better money so that's the last of the wheat all got in fifteen thousand and thirty eight liters that's not bad at all. So we'll get this in the silo. We'll grab the rest of the bales. And then I think we're done for today. Six bales off the wheat field. It's not too bad going that. I mean, we, we still have a little bit in the baler. But uh, for now, we'll just go and put these in here. We'll spin around here. And we'll zoom in a bit so we can see. Back up a bit. And then we'll just double unload. So we should be getting a nice amount in here now. Let's see if we can find out what's in here. Oh, yeah. It's looking good, isn't it? Look at that. So, at a the minute, then, we've got 253,000 litres in here and 54,000 litres of hay. Not bad. Uh, how much are we going to have with the silage? Put some lights in here. 
So we've got about nine silage bales, but I, I can never remember what. Are the 11,000 litres each? But nine of them, so they'll be going in here as well. Now, we're not going to worry about any grass, so we're just going to have these three in here. Once we've got them, well, then we, we are very close then. We could look at getting cows if we can afford them. Hmm, get some baby cows. Because we're allowed to, well, using all the three, we'll be able to make up some TMR. Now, we just need to maybe rent a look at buying a food mixer. This one doesn't look too bad. Silo King. 22,000 litres this thing holds. That should be enough to start with some baby cows, shouldn't it? I would have thought so. Obviously, as they get older, they're going to need more food. But then the good thing is we can use this, make up TMR, put it in the silo. Now, will the silo hold TMR? That's the next question. Might need to do a little test, but I need one of these first. 45 grand. Well, we can't afford it yet, but soon, hopefully. And maybe instead of selling the silage, maybe we could put it in here. You know, we've got some silage over in the, like, 11,000 litres over in the, uh, the pit. Maybe we could just put it straight in here. We'll get it out of the bale. Mix it up into the food. Yeah, that could be quite good. So we can put the combine back in the shed. Done all it needs to for now. Park it up just here. There we go. Oh, it's a bit tight. Everything cleaned. All looking good. We'll shut the door. Head has gone back over here. Looks like it's starting to get a little bit cloudy. It's still 31 degrees though. But it is half six at night. I am shattered. It's been a good day today. So it pretty much looks like there's nothing else we can do now for a little while. So canola can go in next month. And I think because we have the oil mill, it would just make sense to put some canola in the ground. We could look again at putting some sunnies in, some sunflowers in March next year. But canola in next month. So we'll find a field for that. We'll see what's good. But first, we need to prep all the fields. So we'll get that done next time. The next harvest is soybeans. If we look halfway down the menu... That's not till October. So, I think we just need to get as much in the fields as we can. So, wheat and barley again. We can look at putting some more wheat and barley in because chickens are going to get through the food. So, might as well, since we've got so many fields now, just get some crops in the ground. But for now, I think that's pretty good. It's just going up to 10 to 7. Still mighty hot. I'm going to grab a cold beer, go sit in my lounger then, try not fall asleep again. And then I think it's time to go and order a Chinese. I'll see you in the morning.